So this question looks like a diagram question. We know that because of the graph that's provided here. So this makes this more specifically a graph question. So whenever I have a graph, I like to pay attention to um, points that are clearly uh, identifiable. For instance, like the y-axis here. So we know for sure that that y-axis is 0, 3, which means that when x equals 0, y equals 3. And there's some other points right along this line that I can identify if necessary. But let's go on to read the question to see if the 0, 3 is useful enough or if I need to identify anything else. So the question says the graph of the linear function f is shown in the xy plane above. The slope of the graph of the linear function g is four times the slope of the graph of f. Well, what is the slope of this graph that we have? So if I were to go, for instance, from this point to this one, I would rise one and run two. So the slope of f is equal to one half. Now the question says that the slope of g, so this is for f over here, the slope of g is equal to four times the slope of graph f, right? So the slope of g is equal to four times one half, which is equal to two. If the graph of g passes through the point zero, negative four, so now I know that m equals two, and I know that we have a point that is zero, negative four, which in essence also tells me, right, if I think about this from a y equals m x plus b format, that here is my two. And because x is zero and y is negative four, this is actually the b value. So b is negative four, which means I have the equation y equals two x minus four. The question says, what is the value of g of nine, right? So I can treat this instead of y equals, I can call it g of x is equal to 2x minus 4, right? Don't forget that g of x or f of x, h of x, and y are interchangeable. So now if I'm asked to figure out what g of 9 is, I just replace x with 9. So I'd have 2 times 9 minus 4. 2 times 9 is 18 minus 4. 18 minus 4 is 14. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice C.